catch up and get ahead with The Edge for the week of August 24th. Congressman Lloyd Doggett and Joaquin Castro reiterated their call to close private prisons in Texas that are holding asylum-seeking women and their children. And they pledged to refuse campaign contributions for the corporations who run the prisons. Prison industry, I think you do have to follow the money, and I pledge to refuse such contributions uh, in the future. Their comments came at a forum on family detention, co-hosted by the Interfaith Welcome Coalition, COPS Metro Alliance, now Cast SA, and raises Texas. But I want you to know that I made an effort to change the way that we handle these situations because I think that we should have sent the Red Cross down there and not the National Guard. All children are guaranteed equal access to public elementary and secondary education, and that includes undocumented immigrants. Read more about this issue from the Intercultural Development Research Association in English or in Spanish on Nowcast SA. UTSA students are eligible for a new community-based work-study program. The Center for Civic Engagement at UTSA is launching a unique community-based program called Rowdy Corps. The program lets students complete required work-study hours while working with local nonprofits. This year, there are 15 student positions available at 12 partnering agencies, including one job here at Nowcast SA. Help shape the future of water in San Antonio. San Antonio Water Systems wants residents to help shape the city's water future by taking a quick survey and engaging in the 2015 water management planning process. Learn about WaterCitySA.com and find out how you can get involved. Go to NowCastSA.com where you can Watch congressmen talk about closing private prisons. Learn about undocumented children's right to education. Help shape the future of water in San Antonio. And find out about Rowdy Corps, a UTSA program partnering with nonprofits. Thanks for watching The Edge.